Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Indie Best to Invest Bracket Challenge 2020 edition. Congratulations to Bean Creek and Southern Broad Ripple on advancing to the finals of the first ever Indie Best to Invest Bracket Challenge. Let's not delay. Let's dive right in and look at the first game. Fountain Square dropped this one, and I think they just got overconfident. The blue chip stock, Fountain Square, drops at 19 to Bing Creek's 23 with a last second surge of voting. Fast forward to the, the second matchup of the final four, Southern Broad Ripple completely taking Butler Tarkington behind the woodshed, beating them 19 votes to seven votes, taking three, four, uh, three fourths of the vote. Um, Southern Broad Ripple just outmatched. They're, they are playing with a lot of confidence right now. You have to be excited and very, very confident if you're a Southern Broad Ripple investor uh, heading into the final round of games here in the finals. Clay. What are your thoughts on the games? If you would have told me four weeks ago how this tournament would have, would have, would have turned out, I would not have believed you. Uh, honestly, looking over at the four seed Bean Creek, taking over the one seed Fountain Square, uh, overall, uh, I just don't get this game. I think Bean Creek played fantastic. Uh, and equally as confusing, the three seed Butler Targington and the two seed Sobro. Uh, I like Butler Targington in this game. I like a lot of what they bring to the table. Tough team, great upside as well as neighborhood. I uh, just could not figure out uh, a way to get it done. Now, overall, a fascinating Final Four uh, in a way that I would not have uh, seen coming. Moving towards the, na the national championship game uh, between two seed Sobro and four seed Bean Creek. Ev, what do you think is going to happen? Look, guys, I, uh, I'm going to try and keep this as uh, fair and impartial as possible. Really, what I think this matchup boils down to is what each team doesn't have. Um, Bean Creek has really had a favorable draw, but what Bean Creek lacks compared to Southern Broad Ripple is commercial development. Southern Broad Ripple, Sobro has two or three new breweries, three or four new restaurants, little boutiques, little coffee shops that drive residential traffic and therefore residential investment. I love Southern Broad Ripple. I've loved them the whole time. Uh, repping the home team on uh, Midwest Cash Offer and Mainstays Headquarters on 52nd Evanston Sobro. Overall, looking at this game, I'm fascinated by the matchup. Uh, those who've been following my analysis on this thing uh, have not, you, you've noticed I've not been shy about speaking ill of Bean Creek. Now, seeing as Bean Creek uh, is getting the higher rents it's getting, I did some deeper analysis today, average of $7.15 uh, a month last year, moving up to $7.55. Uh, almost a 10% rent increase in one year this year in Bean Creek. So I'm getting the hype, I'm getting the enthusiasm, I'm seeing the appraisals come back for you guys. Some genuinely huge things going on in the neighborhood. I think I may take Bean Creek to beat out Sobro in the national championship game solely due to the investment upside. I think Bean Creek takes down Sobro, but who am I to say? This is your tournament, Indie Best to Invest 2020. We want you to make the call. Uh, we need your vote. So cast your votes today, and in the meantime, peace, love, real estate. My name is Clay Manship. Best of luck to the Indy Best to Invest champion of 2020.